This Tuesday, Patty Wetterling's new book, Dear Jacob, A Mother's Journey of Hope, will be released. The book details her 27-year search for her missing son, Jacob. Written with blogger Joy Baker, it gives a dramatic account of the real-life events that the Wetterling family went through. It also details how, in the end, it was persistence that led to the case finally being solved. Here's Esme Murphy with tonight's Talking Points. For 27 years, from Jacob Wetterling's abduction in 1989 to the final confession by Jacob's murderer, Danny Heinrich, in 2016, it was the biggest news story in Minnesota and also the biggest mystery. On the night of October 22nd of 1989, 11-year-old Jacob was biking with his best friend Aaron and brother Trevor to a convenience store to rent a movie when a man wearing a mask jumped out of the darkness and took Jacob. The abduction happened along a stretch of road just out outside of St. Joseph, Minnesota. The immediate searches were massive, involving the National Guard and hundreds of volunteers. But for more than two decades, the case remained unsolved. In 2010, more than 21 years after the kidnapping, a hospital administrator named Joy Baker began blogging about the case. Through her research, a set of unsolved sexual assaults in Painesville, Minnesota on teen boys in the late 1980s was uncovered. Eventually, Baker and abuse survivor Jared Shirel in 2013 and 2014 were able to connect these unsolved Painesville cases to Jared's unsolved molestation case and ultimately to Jacob's case. It was only then, after a relentless pressure from Patty and Jerry Wetterling, that the case was reopened. DNA was retested, and that led to a man called Danny Heinrich. Way back in 1989, Heinrich had briefly been considered a suspect and was even briefly arrested but released after he lawyered up. For the next 20 years, investigators will focus on other suspects, including a neighbor who were all innocent in Jacob's case. In 2015, Heinrich was arrested on child pornography charges. And in 2016, as part of a plea deal that the Wetterling family agreed to, Heinrich led law enforcement to where he had buried Jacob in Painesville. Under the plea deal, Heinrich pled guilty to one count of trial pornography and was not charged in the murder. It was a plea deal Patty and Jerry Wetterling agreed to because it finally led them to Jacob. Patty Wetterling and co-author Joy Baker were guests on WCCO Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. This was not the first time Jerry and I had been offered, do you want justice or do you want Jacob, basically, right. and I have said all all those years. I kept saying I'm searching for my son. I'll let the rest of the world deal with the guy who did it. Danny Heinrich is scheduled to be released from federal prison in 2032, when he will be 69 years old. Prosecutors had said when he is released, they will begin the process of civilly committing him under the state sex offender laws. The new book by Patty Wetterling and Joy details the ins and outs of this case including how Patty, Joy, and Jared came together to put the pieces together and how that finally led authorities to Heinrich. The book also details how Patty Wetterling, in the midst of her grief, became one of the nation's foremost missing children's advocates. She was an original board member of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Again, the new book by Patty Wetterling and Joy Baker is available Tuesday, October 17th. Esme Murphy, WCCO News.